Okay, this is how we calculate descriptive statistics using Excel. We're going to use two methods. The first method, we're going to use the data analysis pack. And in the second method, we're going to calculate each value using a formula. Okay, so the first thing, and the first method what you need to do is, you need to turn on the data analysis pack. If you go into, into data, you need to have the data analysis pack. So in order to activate this, go to file, go to options, within options, go into add-ins. And within this, you should have analysis tool pack. Click on this one and go to go and make sure this is on. Once this is on, it should appear within the data analysis, so in the data tab, okay? Okay, in order to calculate the descriptive statistics, what you need to do is come over here, anywhere, and you're gonna say data analysis. We're gonna do the descriptive statistics, click on okay. And here you need to give the range. What's your input range? I'm gonna click on this one. And of course it's highlighted since I've done it before. That's my range. Click here. Okay, your data is in columns. If your data is in rows, you can go ahead and click rows. Turn this on. If your label is on, is in the front, is the first uh, value. Turn this on. Labels in first row. Where would you like your data to go? Do you want the output to be in this cell? Okay, starting with the cell. Okay, I would like to have it this cell. That's why I've clicked over here. If you want to take it to a new sheet, you can go ahead and click over here and give it a name. Okay, or you want to take it all together into a new workbook. I would like to have it right here in this um, I3 cell. And I would like to have the summary statistics, the confidence interval for mean largest value and of course the smallest value click OK and there you go it does it for you now in the second method we are what, you do, we are, what we are going to do is we're going to calculate each value by ourselves using a formula now the advantage of this is in case you one of these values change your formulas will go, are going to change dynamically okay I mean the values in the formulas are going to change dynamically so let's go ahead and start with this one. Let's calculate the mean. And before you start calculating or doing all the calculations, one um, time saving tip would be to just define all of these, okay, all your data within formulas. You can just define it as a name so that when you call it, I'll call it age data. And that is your range. Click OK. And now this is defined. Now every time we use a formula, we're just going to go ahead and call that variable and it will automatically highlight the range. So we don't have to highlight the range every time we're doing a formula. So I'm going to say equal to. Let's calculate the mean equal to. Mean is basically the average of my age data. That's the variable that I have defined. Press tab. Okay. And exactly the same value. Standard error is basically standard deviation. My data divided by the square root of the number of values that I have. So I'm going to use the count function. Median, I'm going to use the median age data mode and mode DE single age data again okay. 
variance is var dot s ketosis k u r t The range is the maximum minus the minimum value. This one is an easy one, minimum of age data. This is the maximum. Sum of all the ages. Count. Just the first largest value the first largest value and the first smallest number and finally the confidence and that is equal to confidence that should be the confidence level which is 95 percent and we'll call calculate the standard deviation again Because our data, the, the count of our data, and we'll give it a label, and that is basically how it's done. The advantage of the second method is that in case there is a value that you want to change. Okay, let's say I would go ahead and change this one and call it maybe 20. These values will change dynamically. Whereas this one, you will have to redo it and you know just do it again. Okay, so use either the first one or the second one. Okay, hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching the video.